What's happening YouTube? Lost Gamer 8519. Welcome back to the channel once again. I got more video game pickups for you guys. Went to the flea market once again today. I just got back not too long ago. And I'm also hit up some GameStop because they did their um, July 4th promo. Uh, the buy two get one free on all three on games. So I haven't been to a lot of GameStops in a while. Um, for video games anyway. So I decided to really hit up a few GameStops and check out uh, the games that they had there. Honestly, I think I'm buying more than I should. <laughs> and it's just, um, I'm buying them at a rate that I'm like, man, it's just piling up. But at the same time, I'm finding games that I don't normally see and it's a good deal. And flea markets are actually pretty good so far these past couple of weeks. I went back to back weeks so far and I found something every time so uh, i'm going to continue trying to go each week if i can it depends on my work schedule of course and you know we'll see how it goes from there but i'm pretty sure i'm not going to find something every single time but i've just been lucky the past two weeks so anyways um today like i said went to the flea market got some decent stuff uh, these first two games i honestly don't know if i'm going to keep them yet um they were a pretty good deal this game right here is disgusting only reason why I bought it is because of the game itself, but it's a cart only game. Usually, I don't buy cart only Genesis games. I couldn't just leave that there. And that's uh, Double Dragon 3, the arcade game. Thanks, Nicole, for writing on there. Um, I'm gonna have to take the time to get that out. This cart is disgusting. Like, this shit is dirty as hell. She wanted $5 for this. I was like, no, I'm not gonna pay $5 for a loose cart that's dirty. He doesn't know if it works. You know, it's just a pile of video game stuff that he had on the table and even though they're the dirtiest shit the console yellowed or just all around trash they just want top dollar for these video games like i don't know how like i don't know where they're getting this idea from all of a sudden you know i guess the whole retro game craze has really gotten to a point where there's people that are selling video games just like not entirely it's just like maybe one or two items of video games and they just ebay it automatically they just think it's worth so much money before i keep going like today for example i did see a seller the old man like he had to be in his 60s 70s and you know he was selling like miscellaneous items on his table like you know you got your like bottles jars and you know old stuff and he had like two or three video game items he had a nintendo uh, nintendo 64 and a super nintendo game which was earthbound and sitting in the middle of the console so i asked him first how much the he wanted for the nes he said he wanted 50 dollars for the nintendo it wasn't in the greatest shape i mean it was a little yellow but he wanted 50 dollars for it he didn't know if it worked but he said that his son fixed it and I asked him how much uh, the Earthbound was. He said immediately, before I even felt like I finished saying the word Earthbound, he said, that's $100. And I was like, uh, I was like, wow, really? He's like, where did you come up with that price? And he goes, on eBay is selling upwards of two, three dollars $300. And, you know, I think $100 is a great deal. Like anybody, it could be anybody that, that's selling in the flea markets now. And they know values of video games. It's fucking crazy. Anyways, I'm sorry about that. Rant again. So, um, he wanted five for this. I didn't want to pay five. But I was interested in this. This is probably the cleanest game he had at his table. Even though I don't have a Sega Saturn, I couldn't just leave it there. With the rest of that graveyard of video games that he had on that table. So he bundled it both together and he said, you know what? Just give me five bucks. You can have both of them. So, five dollars for both these games. Not bad at all. Um... I still don't know. I'm going to keep both of them. I'll probably clean up this one, sell it. This one might go up on eBay as well. So I went to the same guy uh, that sold those Xbox games uh, for my last video. I left a few games back there because there were sports games. And at the time, I already picked up so many of the uh, other titles. I went back to him. He still had the rest of those games there. So I decided to pick up the rest. Uh, or just the ones that um, I didn't have for my collection that were in really good shape. Uh, so first is FIFA 2003, did not have this. Like I said, all these games are in good shape for it being original Xbox games because I never find them as good of a shape. Minty Fresh. 2002 uh, FIFA World Cup. 
Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. This is one of those games Asian Sleepy is trying to collect all those cards for. But this one came with a little card as well. It's the Gimli's or Gimli's Axe. So I don't know if that's a variant that you don't have, uh, Asian Sleepy. But if you do need this, man, just let me know. And last is Hulk. I thought I had this, but I guess I had it for the PS2 at some point in time. But I did not have it for the original Xbox, so I picked this up. Out of all the games, this is the one in the worst shape, which the only reason is it has a sticker on it. That's what made it the worst shape. So those are three bucks a piece. Very happy about that. Also managed to find this at that seller's table. Death by Degrees. Uh, he wanted $3 for this as well. A um, little beat up, a little dusty and dirty, but I have plenty of PS2 cases I can switch this out with. Very fun looking game. Uh, Nina from Tekken. Basically a spin-off of her. Looks like a little adventure fighting game, so very happy to get that. Look forward to trying that out. Top Gear, Daredevil, this was a dollar. This game looks like one of those little penny car racers or those little RC car racers, I'm guessing. That's alright. I pick it up for a dollar. And last from the flea market is Real Fishing, also a dollar from that same seller that sold me that Top Gear game. Um, I've actually been wanting to get this game for a while. I just never felt like it was worth five dollars. I've seen it everywhere for five dollars, but a dollar definitely pick it up. Match me title didn't have it. All right, so these last six games are from GameStop. Um, like I said, they were doing their buy two get one free promotion for July 4th. I did pick up six games. Uh, first off is a uh, Tesla Grad. Looks pretty interesting. Sounds like a lot of puzzles in it, but it looks fun. Next is The Witch and the Hundred Knight. I uh, don't know much about this game. I just picked up this game because I needed a third uh, game to fill in the one free game. So I just thought I'd pick this up to match. All these games were uh, $10 each. I uh, don't know much about this, so let me know in the comments if you recommend this game. These two games, uh, very happy to get. Uh, Under Night in Birth, a uh, fighting game. Heard about this game a while back, uh, just didn't want to pay the price for it. So very happy to find this on the PS3. Another one is Guilty Gear XRD. Sign, I believe I said that shit right. I know this game is on the PS4, but I can live with playing it on the PS3. Uh, another fighting game, um, fan of the Guilty Gear series. Tenchu Z, did not have this for the 360 collection. Usually when I see this game, it's never complete. It's always missing something, so very happy to find it. Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball uh, 2. It's the extreme volleyball game. Played the first one, never played this one, but I've always wanted to get it for D360 because I didn't have it. I think there's only maybe a handful of times that I've seen this game. And I passed on it once or twice. And usually every time I do that, I can never find it again. Or I can never find it complete. So very happy to get this and add this to my collection. So besides all the jiggling boobs and shit like that which the game is pretty much known for. There's some pretty fun mini games in there. The volleyball game is pretty fun as well. So, very happy to get that. So that's it, real quick. Just wanted to run through them and show you guys what I got. More video games on the way. I still have more games coming in the mail, which I'm, I'm gonna have a whole separate video for that because I'm still waiting on a whole bunch of them. I can go ahead and say there's some limited run games in there, which I'm actually kind of surprised in myself that I'm buying limited run games now. I'm not getting every single one. There's actually only a handful of games out of the entire limited run library that I'm actually interested in. I think the only one I'm really kicking myself for that I missed out on is Ask the Breed. I missed out on Darius Verse as well, but I'm just give away that one. Um, they re-released it on the Vita and I was lucky enough to snag a copy of that. I would have liked it on the PS4. Like I said, I missed out on that and um, it just sucks that I have to really keep track of what's coming out with Limited Run. I really want to get all the shoot 'em ups that come out. I'm really like getting into that, even though I really love the genre already, you know. But right now, I'm just that's all I'm really trying to play. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys having a nice day. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Lost Gamer, 8519, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.